Here's a quote I came across this week. Because the Bible is the only book which gives us an accurate forecast of the future, we must turn to its pages in order that we may be delivered from inexcusable ignorance and be prepared as God unfolds his prophetic program. We reserve a few minutes each week to talk about current trends that you'd expect from reading Bible prophecy. We are futurists. That means we interpret unfulfilled prophetic passages as yet future events that will happen literally, physically, and globally. Biometrics, artificial intelligence, cashless commerce, the manipulation of human DNA, global government, the exponential growth of human knowledge, one world religion, and the rebirth of national Israel are all end times developments the Bible predicts, and they are all increasingly trending in the news. The Bible predicts mankind's future during a seven year period called the Great Tribulation. A world leader will rise, citizens under his rule will not be able to buy or sell unless they agree to worship him. I should also mention that he will exercise the power of life and death over those who refuse to bow the knee. Control over buying and selling involves control over pretty much everything. If the government wants to restrict your movements, they will. If they want to track you, they will. You get the idea. Now we're experiencing on a small scale what this kind of control will be full scale in the future. The vaccine mandates, whether you are for them or against them, are a means of control. Your freedom of movement, your freedom of speech, and your ability to work have all been impacted by these mandates. I read an article titled, Germany Locks Down Unvaccinated People. Here's some excerpts from that article. Germany is following Austria's example in locking down unvaccinated people. Chancellor Angela Merkel announced that the move is necessary to tackle a very worrying fourth wave of the pandemic that is overwhelming hospitals, and she blamed the unvaccinated for driving the surge. Access to public, cultural, and sports events and to restaurants will be restricted to those who have been vaccinated or who have recovered. The chancellor added the federal government would also consider a request by regional governments for legislation allowing them to require that care and hospital workers be vaccinated. Saxony, the region hardest hit, is considering shutting theaters, concert halls, and soccer games. Finance minister and chancellor in waiting, Olaf Scholz, said, to get through the winter, we will see drastic measures that have not been taken before. The Czech Republic has already followed Austria's lead by banning unjabbed people, that's what they call it, from access to public events, bars, and restaurants. Slovakia is also considering imposing a similar measure, which would see unvaccinated people banned from non-essential stores, shopping malls, gyms, pools, hotels, and mass public gatherings for at least three weeks. Earlier this week, Belgium made face masks compulsory and introduced working from home instructions. The Prime Minister of Greece announced additional restrictions for the country's unvaccinated population. Access to more indoor spaces will be limited to the vaccinated, he said during a televised address. Proof of a negative test will no longer be sufficient for unvaccinated people to enter cinemas, theaters, museums, and gymnasiums, he said. The new restrictions broadened those imposed in mid-September, which barred the unvaccinated from the indoor areas of cafes and restaurants. Another article was titled, Bank of America Initiates Pilot Program Separating vaccinated from unvaccinated employees. Here's a little bit from that article. A source has disclosed a pilot program beginning November 18 that plans to separate vaccinated from unvaccinated employees at an administration building in Jacksonville, Florida. Those who haven't disclosed their vaccin uh, vaccinated status or have disclosed their status as unvaccinated can only return to work on a separate floor. The unvaccinated will be stripped of their access and given only one floor to work on with offices and a restroom, but they can't go anywhere else, the source said. Essentially, they're discriminating. So I'm not commenting on the mandates. I'm pointing out that they resemble what the Bible predicts for the reign of the Antichrist. Now, some people might think that's a leap, but, uh, you know, it, it's really the same thing in terms of buying and selling, restricting your movements, telling you where you can go and where you can't go. Uh, only in this case, uh, it's because of a pandemic and not because some crazy person wants you to worship him. Uh, but you can see just how quickly this could happen in the Great Tribulation. 
It's the kind of thing we expect as a futurist reading the Bible. Now, we believe the resurrection and the rapture of the church are imminent events. They could happen right now. Jesus will return and raise the dead in Christ and then rapture, tra uh, translate, change, transform living believers and catch us all to be with him in heaven. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready, stay ready, keep looking up. Ready or not, Jesus is coming.